Hey everybody, this is Brett. And you know how not too long ago I made a video where I stated that I think that it would be really great and I think a lot of people would be interested in learning how to be self-massage teachers and also to be able to just work on themselves. I mean, that's hugely valuable right there. Well, one of the first things that you need to do is start to learn a little bit of anatomy. And one of the things that's really fun and cool is to color. Like, remember when you were a kid and you liked to color things? Well, there's absolutely no reason why a 95-year-old person shouldn't enjoy coloring. You should never stop coloring. It's always cool, just like music. And so, I bought an anatomy coloring book. Not this one, but... But, um... The first one that I bought, I sent back to Amazon. I bought another one, sent it back to Amazon. And this is the third one, and I like this one. Netters, of course. Anatomy coloring book. And so this is the one that I think that y'all should get. And I'll even put it on my website under good books to read. And um, yeah, just start coloring stuff. This is the first muscle that I'm coloring here. It's the number one and how you check to see what the name of that is is to come over here <clears throat> excuse me it's the epicranius muscle frontalis and occipitalis these two muscles are connected to one another by the galea epicondricara <laughs> a, broad, a broad flat tendon okay and exactly where that is I would guess that maybe the it's in here. I don't know. Or maybe maybe it's on the top here. But in any case, let's color that muscle. I've already started, as you can see. Joel will be like, man, he can color too. <laughs> man, that guy knows all about everything. I don't, Joe. I just seem cool. I don't know if it goes down the side like this or not, but we're going to color it in because it looks cool. Okay. Once again, that frontal covering muscle is the epicranius, frontalis, and occipitalis. Okay, number two. The orbicular or orbicularis, oculi. That must have to do with the eyes, oculi, if I remember correctly. Number two. Aha! The orbicularis, orbicularis, oculi. Are those. Let's do those a nice red. Orbicularis oculi. What does it say about them? A sphincter muscle that closes the eyelids has a pal palpebral part in the eyelids and an orbital part 
attached to the bony orbital rim. Orbicularis oculi. The orbicularis oculi. So, you know, this is the way to learn things on your own time. Like, I'm not pressed because I've got some test tomorrow. Oh my god, I've got some test, and if I don't get 77% right. There they are, the orbicularis oculi colored. Number three. The levator, which means to lift, lab, labi superi, superioris. Levator labi superioris, number three. Okay, number three, right there. See, okay, so it elevates the labi. It's superiorly elevating the labi of something. Okay, so I've already used those two, and now I'm going to use this blue one. Levator Labi Superioris. Uh huh. Okay. So also levator labi superioris, aqua, aliquae nasi. That one to the inside of it too. So we'll do that one. The dark blue. Levator labi superioris, aquilae nasi muscle. Okay, what's this outer one? Okay, these are all the zygomaticus, minor, major, and levae anguli oris muscle. Ah, that's a deeper muscle, as you can see. So the muscles are often layered, almost always layered, and that one is a deeper one underneath those. Okay, let's see. This one we're gonna do a like a green. Okay, I gotta do the opposite side ones here. And the dark blue on the aquilinase eye. And the green on the zygomatis, zygomaticus minor. Okay, and then the levator anguli, how about that right in there? You can't really see it, but that would also be like right there, because it's underneath those two. Okay, and now how about this zygomaticus major? Zygomaticus major is this one here. Let's do that one, this uh, pastel color here, uh, pink. Regular pink. Okay. 
Zygomaticus Major. Okay. Number four. Right on your schnozola there is the nasalis. Has a transverse and alar part. Okay. How about this brown for that? I didn't even know there was muscle in your schnozola. Okay. How's that? Okay, and how about number five? Around your mouth there. Orbicularis oris, a sphincter muscle that purses our lips. Oh, the kissing muscle. Oh my God. Let's do that one purple. I think my neighbor's going to play the drums. How long do you think it'll take me to color all the muscles of the body? This, this book has not just muscles, but everything. Organs, nerves bones, the whole deal. Okay, there's number five, the orbicularis oris. Orbicularis oris, a sphincter muscle that purses our lips, the kissing muscle. Number six, depressor anguli oris. Depresses our lip, the sad muscle, as it turns the corners of our lips downward. Number six. Uh huh. The depressor anguli oris. We're gonna make that one since it's such a drag muscle. We're gonna make it this like kind of a gray. Can you dig it, y'all? Okay, it's important to know these muscles so that when you're massaging someone's face, it helps you to, to know where the muscles are and what you need to be doing to stimulate them. Because you can't see under the skin. You can feel and then you can know with your mind. Mentalis muscle. Okay, the mentalis muscle. Some of these are named over here, and some of them are just shown here. Exactly why they did that, I don't know. We'll do that one yellow. Okay, seven, the platysma, a broad, thin muscle that covers the anterior lateral neck and tenses the skin of the lower face and neck. Seven. Oh, that's up here. Okay, so it shows two views, the frontal view and the lateral view. Okay, so that'll be number seven right there, and that'll be next. But anyway, so the, you get the picture there. The third chapter is the muscles. And so go get this book and get started and learn some anatomy.
before you get started with learning self-massage or while you are.